I look around. You know what I see? Losers. I mean, like, folks who have lost stuff. Like, you look way cooler. Now, you look super cool. Girl. Let's start out and see how confident Ball out I feel. like this. Do it. Ball out. <laughs> yes. Alex Hudgens, Black Tree TV. Have you ever done that? Yeah. I've never done this in an interview. But I just want to be, like, this much as cool as you. What happened to our boy? Where has he been? <sighs> I'm here now. I know sexy, but what happened to my boy? <laughs> He's out in the hall. You can talk to him when we're done. I'm just curious. I mean, are they, are they going? Uh, are they, did they pull a Thor on you? I mean, what happened? To, uh, <laughs> so Groot. <laughs> yes, master. I love Groot. No Aww. spoilers, but there's a part in the film where I'm like, I'm not about to cry right now because of this tree. That is beautiful. He's fantastic. Tell that me about beautiful. being Groot because you have, you have three words. <laughs> Who would have thought? But he has so much more than that. Just t tell me about being great. <laughs> when I was growing up as an actor, my father taught theater. Mm -hmm. uh, taught theater at, in Brooklyn, in New York. Uh, he used to always say, "There are no small act. There are no small roles. Only small actors." And he would Why? say that because when he would try to he would try to cast plays, and sometimes people would be like, "That role is too small for me." And it was something that he always used in the casting process. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how, you know, decades later, I'm in this situation where uh, it was last year, really, last summer, where the internet storm around what is Vin and Marvel going to do kind of was bubbling up mm -hmm. and, and taking over. When I was initially talking about with Marvel about doing something for Phase Three, it was like we could we were comfortable about it. We could develop it. We could work on it. We can build it from the ground up, and we <laughs> we quickly found that um, that the social media world was not going to be satisfied with that. And Marvel's wanted... got some hardcore. Fa we have to be careful in the interviews because they will get you. Yeah, they will. <laughs> I will. And they wanted something now. And Kevin Feige called me up and said, we have this crazy role. It's the strangest role uh, that Marvel's ever attempted to put on film. We think you'd be perfect. And you were like, okay. And I'm like, well, what? what? You have one line. What? Excuse me? <laughs> well, I think he communicates an awful lot in the sure one line. Does. Oh, real quick, tell me about the, the stilts. Mm hmm. Y you were tell people at that's home how you I, were using stilts. That's how I initially got into the character. That's so cool. Yeah, I always, <laughs> it's, 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 it's so common for me. Whenever I play a character, there's some crazy thing I need as an mm -hmm. entry into the character. And for this character, it was a pair of jumping stilts. Uh, it made me seven and a half feet tall. It was so interesting Casual. to walk around uh, at, at that height and with these crazy kind of things on my feet. And it was a brilliant way for me to kind of begin to immerse myself in the character. And mm -hmm. it had this strange effect on me and it started to make me believe I was Groot. And it worked. I well, won. I am like nerding out. I loved this film and Groot was my favorite part. Oh, yeah, so Angie. can we get a I am Groot while I walk away? I'm ready. <laughs> no, I need you to say it. Please. Je s'appelle Groot. Even better. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Only on Soul of the South.